I had two copper hemispheres or shells made, approximately three-fourths of an L in diameter. I received them 67 one-hundredths of an L in diameter, for the workmen are not accustomed to making things as accurately as they are asked to. They fitted very closely together, and to one of them was soldered a cock or kind of valve which allowed the air inside to be pumped out and prevented the exterior air from entering. In addition, four iron rings are soldered to it to which horses can be harnessed. I also had a leather ring sewn as a gasket which was thoroughly saturated with a mixture of wax and turpentine so that no air would be let through. These hemispheres were fitted together with the leather ring in between and then the air was quickly pumped out with the help of a connecting tube. Then I saw how great the force was with the shells pressed against the ring. They stuck so firmly to each other by the effect of the pressure of the air that 16 horses could not at all or only with great difficulty tear them apart. But if occasionally, by the utmost exertion, they succeed in pulling them apart, then there is an explosive noise like a gunshot. But as soon as the air is let in by opening the cock, anyone can merely separate and pull apart the shells with his bare hands. If one desires to know exactly how great is the weight which presses the hemispheres so strongly together, one should calculate the weight of a column of air 67 one-hundredths of an L in diameter. The weight of this column of air is 2,686 pounds, and consequently the air pressure pushes one of the hemispheres with a weight of 2,686 pounds against the other. The other hemisphere in turn presses with the same weight in the opposite direction so that eight horses, when they tear them apart, sustain or exert a pull of 2,686 pounds. The remaining eight horses on the other side exert an equally great opposing pull. Now it is true that eight horses can without any difficulty pull a wagon loaded with 2,686 pounds. But in our case, the pull is far stronger because it acts against the entire column of air and, as it were, more contrary to nature than does the pulling or drawing a load by means of a wagon. From this last statement, it is clear that von Guericke did not understand the concept of gravity with respect to pulling a cart with wheels. However, he did appreciate that it would be harder to pull the load if it were not in the cart but somehow suspended in the air. With this in mind, von Guericke goes on to suggest that the experiment be done differently by hanging weights from the hemispheres. He discovers that the weight necessary to separate the hemispheres varies slightly from day to day, and deduces that the weight variation required is due to changes in the atmosphere outside the sphere. Otto von Guericke performed countless experiments with his hemispheres. However, there is no doubt he was most excited about the gigantic experiment he performed in Magdeburg in May 1671.